Our marketing team started working on this concept back in December. Uh, the idea was to come up with something that is unique and something that you wouldn't expect to see from a local financial institution. When we came up with the idea of, of sort of a historical setting to this commercial, you know, we needed to find a partner that we really thought could bring the idea to life. Um, and I think once people see the finished product, you see that you know, digital effects really does an outstanding job in that regard. We've been um, in business for nearly 30 years, and we focus mostly on commercials. We do a, a good variety of work from corporate training films, uh, educational pieces, marketing films. Uh, we do a, a good bit for the feature film industry and for broadcast, but our core business is commercials. Um, this is what we love to do. We love to tell a story in 30 seconds. As with any advertiser, you know, the, the one thing you want to do is stand out and stand out in the crowd. And so you want something that's unique and that, that um, you know, identifies with your brand. We picked Louisiana Purchase because, you know, there's obvious uh, local ties um, with Louisiana and it, it sort of speaks to it to our brand, which is really, um, you know, we're all about being local. Really, you know, to see the, the whole process unfold was, um, you know, was a new experience for us and, and to see everything that goes into the making of a 30 second commercial to tell, to tell this story in, in such a um, constrained time frame um, was, was really interesting to see. When we first got the concept, uh, you know, shown to us, it was it was, a, it was great, it was a challenge from the beginning because here we get to create a period piece. We don't normally get to do that as often as we like and this was, uh, this was fun. So yeah, the, fir the first steps in producing a commercial like this is to break down the script. We take it and we break it down into its rawest elements, the, the cast, the wardrobe, the set, the, the design of the scene, um, all of those elements so that we can then start building those elements. Um, we start with the um, casting and uh, finding the right actors for each of the roles. Um, and then we develop those characters through um, adding wardrobe elements, props, and so forth, until we built the scene the way it was envisioned when the scriptwriters wrote the script. The best part about the period piece is it's a period piece and we gotta have costumes. Costumes are great. We found a company in Boston that supplied almost everything except for a few of the wigs. We needed more wigs. So we had to find the proper location for this commercial, which was you know, definitely exciting and it was a bit of a challenge because you got to find a place that looks like it fits the proper time. The selecting of the site was a, a process and we call it location scouting. So we go out and we search for locations that we think are going to look like um, what we want. And sometimes that leads us into a different direction. Um, sometimes we find the perfect spot right off the bat. In this case, we kind of looked all over the place. We started at the old state capitol, because in my mind there was a perfect room in there. And, and as we scouted the old state capitol, it really didn't work. Um, and so we, that led us to plantation homes and residences. And then ultimately we were driving by the old governor's mansion and decided to swing in. And once we walked in, we realized immediately this, this was the space. So casting was fun. We, uh, we hired a casting agency to come in and they found a great group of talent to come in and audition for all the parts. In all of our television advertising in the past, we've used neighbors and members as the subject of usually testimonial commercials. This was a different process for us. We went out and um, you know, with, our, with digital effects, we cast the commercial and I think we, we found an outstanding cast that really, really brings this whole idea to life. Once you're finished getting everything you think somewhat organized on the look and the feel, now you want to crew it appropriately. Two people in a wardrobe, there was a four person crew for grip and lighting, four person for a camera department, and then you've got producer, director Greg, and director of photography Troy. Oh, it takes a, a large team. It, you know, I think we probably had 40 people maybe involved. I, I don't know the exact count, but typically it's between 20 and 50 people. We shot, every shot was a master. So we did the entire script from beginning to end at each angle that we shot. And you know, you get your wide, get your medium, get your tight, and then we moved over here and did the same thing. I mean, the talent was so good that each take was perfect. A typical 30 second commercial will spend anywhere from, um, a, we, we usually work on 10, 12 hour days, so it, 
it's usually one full day, sometimes two days, and as many as three days. So it really just depends on the budget and the concept and um, what's involved in shooting. In the past, all of our TV advertising has been uh, centered around uh, testimonials of our members talking about our products and how Neighbors helps them. Um, you know, with this spot, we really wanted to do something different and kind of introduce um, an element of humor into, into our marketing. When you watch this spot, you can really see the production value and really that's why you go find a professional company like Digital FX to, to come through and, and really produce this spot in a professional manner. I mean, we couldn't be happier about the way Digital Effects you know, really brought our idea to life and we think it's a great way to launch our new line of credit cards.